Welcome to Just As I See It. Watching Offsiders last Sunday, I was drawn to Gideon Haig's response to the death of Shane Warne. Haig is an author of a book on Shane. Haig said, let's look at who Shane Warne was, cricket aside. He said this, that the man was punctual. He had an affection for children, respect for elders, and was well-mannered, well brought up, as the author's mum would say. Warne was known for his loyalty and generosity. Many others have mentioned, as Haig did, how much he loved his children. Outside of Warden's brilliance and his cricket achievements, he was flawed. A flawed man who owned his weaknesses and fessed up. We are all flawed, but some basic characteristics shine through. So here is an opportunity to celebrate a real bloke by honouring his strengths. He could speak to and had respect for all people, no matter their station in life. He was courteous. He didn't try to be anyone else but himself. Flawed, yes, but he owned his behaviour and said to Lee Sales in an interview, I try to learn from my mistakes and be a better person. Shane Warne's hero status was because he was bigger than cricket. He retained his down-to-earth love of people. He loved to entertain, he loved to be the centre of attention, and he thoroughly enjoyed the interaction with everyone. He had a talent above cricket to make people feel special. Respect for people does that. Men have a lot to learn from Shane Warne. Veil Shane. That's just as I see it. Authorised by Russell Broadbent, Liberal Party, Warrigal.